First of all, I want to give a huge thank you to all of you who helped me make this video somewhat popular. I'm really glad a lot of you enjoyed it, even with some of the more questionable comments that it has gotten. Nevertheless, it has been almost two entire years since its upload, so I figured that its relevance might need to be updated to our current situation, as Hearthstone did receive a lot of updates. This is Should You Play Hearthstone Again in 2022. I'm pretty sure almost all of you have seen my 22 minute long video on Hearthstone. But just in case you haven't, here is a quick recap. Okay, so the main things I pretty much criticized were Battlegrounds and Standard Play for their punishing RNG based pay to win elements, certain overpowered meta decks that weren't easily accessible to new players or people who don't want to spend any money, the lack of PvE content and fun card mechanics, and some of the drama surrounding Blizzard at the time which might still be relevant today. I advise you guys not to return to Hearthstone at the time. Well, let's find out if that's still the case. Or not. Hearthstone introduced quite a lot of content in the past two years. Now I'm going to mention the, in my opinion, three most important ones. Because I just don't want to stretch this video out to another 22 minutes again. The first one is the Mercenaries game mode. Unlike other game modes, whose main focus is on cards, Mercenaries features completely new controllable entities and a turn-based RPG-like combat system, along with both PvE and PvP content. Mercenaries also have quests, a storyline for PvE enjoyers, and much, much more. This edition is simply amazing. This game mode is by far the most enjoyable feature right now. Now, I won't spoil too much of its story or its features, as you should definitely try it out yourself. The second addition I'm going to mention is the Duels game mode. Now, Duels is a PvP game mode where players attempt to claim 12 victories before they suffer 3 losses. Actually, quite similar to Arena. However, instead of drafting a deck, players are offered a choice between 5 of Duel's exclusive heroes, then 1 of 4 of that class's hero powers, followed by 1 of 6 of that class's signature treasures. Players then must build a 16 card deck, using 15 cards from their collection and the treasure they selected. At the end of each round, whether it was a win or loss, the player gains 5 higher maximum health and chooses 3 cards to add to their deck from 3 different choices actually quite similar to Dungeon Run and other single player missions. Occasionally, the player can also pick a passive or active treasure to add to their deck. Now one can generally say that this game mode is a mix between all of the prior existing game modes. I really liked what they tried to do here, and for most of the games, it works really well. However, it didn't take long for meta to take over this part of the game as well, making it, well, less random and less fun. But, you know, credit where credit is due, Blizzard. Thank you for trying. And the last thing I want to mention are the changes in the shop itself. The main complaint that I had was the fact that a lot of the fun in Hearthstone had to be unlocked through a random card selection mechanic. And while Blizzard still heavily promotes in-game purchases, for example, with all of these, they did give players the ability to buy certain cards with in-game gold. Now, granted, it's a bit expensive for someone who doesn't play a lot of Hearthstone, but at least it's better than playing the lottery with every pack you open. They also changed the way you gain gold. Instead of getting a daily quest, which rewards you 40 to 100 gold upon completion, you instead gain progress in a battle pass. The quote-unquote tavern pass includes cards, gold, packs, and free arena runs. Now, if you do buy the premium version of the Tavern Pass, you get a few more rewards, but they're mostly cosmetics. You also gain gold slightly faster than before due to the implementation of weekly quests. And I, I just can't help myself to briefly mention achievements, which encourage players to try out different decks and playstyles and reward them for doing so. Alright, 
so let's see here. <laughs> More PvE content. Check. Beginner friendly additions. Check. Repeatable and fun content. Check. Meta. Uh, well, no, but that's on us to be honest. Drama and other controversy surrounding them's treatment of female staff at the workplace. What? Nah, come on, this has to be a joke. Real gamers would never even talk to a woman. And, uh, I, I think that's it. Wow. Blizzard actually fixed the main problems of Hearthstone. It, it's almost like someone at Blizzard watched my video and listened and adapted to my complaints. Hmm. Hey guys, Senron here with another rant video. Today, I'm gonna talk about the lack of hot, naked oh men in World of Warcraft. Yeah. Call me daddy. Bruh.